Paramount Pictures has officially announced its plans to continue the successful Transformers franchise. Audiences can anticipate not one, but two more movies, Transformers 8 and 9, which will follow the storyline of the seventh part. After the premiere of Rise of the Beasts, director Stephen Cappell Jr. was immediately questioned about the possibility of an eighth part. His response was unequivocal, it will happen. This seems natural, considering the franchise underwent a soft reboot in 2018 with Travis Knight's Bumblebee. Personally, I enjoyed Bumblebee be despite the negative reviews from both critics and audiences. The viewing experience brought me pleasant emotions, especially with the 80s atmosphere and the redesigned Transformers themselves. They became more classic and less detailed, allowing for a fresh perspective on familiar characters. Unlike Bayverse, which aims for epicness and maximum details, the new Transformers adopted traits closer to Hasbro's action figures. Some viewers appreciated this retcon, while others still consider it a downgrade. Nevertheless, Bumblebee recouped its production costs, earning Paramount 467 millions worldwide despite being the least commercially successful film in the franchise. However, everything changed with the release of Rise of the Beasts. Stephen Cappell Jr.'s movie, released last year, effectively flopped and was so forgettable that it quickly faded from memory. Even the full-fledged debut of Unicron couldn't salvage the situation. Following this flop, Paramount Studios plans to change its strategy. Instead of another reboot, they acknowledge the lack of attention given to plot and characters as the issue. And it's logical, just compare the memorable characters from the original trilogy with Shia LaBeouf, how they evolved with the introduction of Mark Wahlberg, and finally, what they turned into in Rise of the Beasts. This mistake should not be repeated in the next film. Yeah, Transformers is an entertaining popcorn flick, but the creators neglected dialogues and character relationships to the point where they started to feel cringy. Paramount producers have already stated that the plot of the eighth Transformers will be more thoroughly developed. Initially slated for release on September 26, 2024 as a direct sequel to Rise of the Beasts, but it's definitely not hitting that date as filming hasn't even begun. In a recent interview with producer Lorenzo Di Bonaventura, details about the continuation were discussed. After the hint at a crossover between Transformers and the G.I. Joe at the end of the seventh movie, it's expected that this aspect will be further explored in Transformers 8. However, despite high expectations for the film, Lorenzo mentioned that the audience will have to wait quite a while. There's no specific release date for the 8th Transformers yet, undoubtedly disappointing fans. Nevertheless, the producer held out hope that additional details about the film would unfold as production progresses. As for the plot details, there are also significant revelations in that department. To understand this, let's recall the ending of Rise of the Beasts. In the conclusion, Noah finds himself in a job interview, still determined to become a security guard. His potential employer remarks that his resume leaves much to be desired. However, Noah decides to share a tale of recently saving the world even though it sounds like a fabrication. Despite this, the man gives him a chance, hands him a business card, and invites him to join his team. In addition, treatment for Noah's brother is offered, convincing him to accept the offer. A secret door opens, revealing a view of the base with an enormous plane being repaired in the background. Noah flips the business card and sees the G.I. Joe logo. As you may know, G.I. Joe is a popular toy series that originated in the 60s. It includes diverse characters in a military setting, featuring vehicles like tanks, planes, and hundreds of different weapons. Interestingly, it was the world's first line of toys to be called as action figures. G.I. Joe also has its comics, animated series, and even live-action movies, often depicting elite special forces and their covert operations against villains. Thus, this scene becomes a clear hint at the shared Hasbro cinematic universe, which is already starting to unfold. While G.I. Joe has its movie series totaling three projects, with the latest released in 2021, focusing on the solo origin of Snake Eyes with Henry Golding in the lead role. In essence, Snake Eyes was somewhat of a standalone movie, not connected to the previous Dilogy. Whether the character played by Henry Golding will be tied to the new Transformers or exist in an entirely different universe is yet to be confirmed. However, despite potential crossover prospects, the reception of Rise of the Beasts and its box office performance may influence Paramount's decision regarding such projects. Nevertheless, both franchises, Transformers and G.I. Joe, have massive fandoms, and among viewers there will undoubtedly be those excited about the idea of their union in a single film. Such crossovers have been present both in comics and animated shows. Considering the active involvement of the U.S. Army in previous Transformers movies, the idea of replacing them with G.I. Joe joining forces with Autobots seems intriguing. However, many believe that franchises should develop independently and a crossover must be considered after a bunch of successful films. Additionally, in the post credit scene of Rise of the Beast, 
beasts, there is a hint at the future interaction between Mirage and Noah. It's noted that Transformers 8 will focus extensively on Energon, unraveling its origin. The franchise is still young, with numerous potential plot lines for future films. The introduction of the updated Megatron remains a question, adding an extra layer of mystery, a potential continuation of the story with Noah and Mirage, as well as their interaction in upcoming films, promises to be more interesting and diverse. The inclusion of old characters like Megatron eliminates the shortage of ideas for the writers. Apparently, delving into existing characters may be more advantageous than creating new Autobot human duos, bringing a fresh perspective and variety to the plot. Just imagine the collaboration between the Autobots and G.I. Joe against the combined might of Cobra and the Decepticons. The world faces great peril as the menacing Decepticon faction, led by Megatron, joins forces with the clandestine Cobra organization, posing a threat to all existing life forms on the planet. The battlefield echoes with the roar of engines and gunfire as the Autobots bring their strength and technology into the fray, while G.I. Joe showcases strategic genius and combat readiness. United, they form an unstoppable alliance ready to withstand the might of the Decepticons and the devilish machinations of Cobra, special ops missions, cybernetic technology expertise, and military mastery blend into a cohesive effort, a collective mission to save the world from evil. In this epic scenario, expect spectacular battle scenes, skillful tactical maneuvers, and heroic deeds that unite the Autobots and G.I. Joe in the defense of all humanity and Cybertron. This alliance will become a symbol of strength, unity, and courage, with cascades of explosions and futuristic technologies creating a thrilling spectacle for fans of both franchises. The prospect of witnessing the combined might of the Autobots and G.I. Joe resisting the alliance of the Decepticons and Cobra ignites the imagination. The fusion of iconic characters, each with their distinct style and approach to fighting for good, has the potential to craft an enthralling and multifaceted storyline. I believe that such a crossover provides ample room for visual effects, dynamic battle scenes, and deep character development. Imagine seasoned G.I. Joe warriors exchanging tactical strategies with remarkable transforming robots to collaboratively devise a plan to combat the dual forces of evil. I am also intrigued by the potential events and plot twists that could unfold in this cinematic universe. And of course, the opportunity to witness the interaction of characters like Noah and Mirage within this context adds mystery and dynamism to the narrative. All of this forms an astounding foundation for Transformers 8. Subscribe.